In this problem, we need to solve the equation x cubed plus 4x squared minus 11x minus 30 equals 0, given that 3 is a 0 of f of x equals x cubed plus 4x squared minus 11x minus 30. Notice this expression and this expression are identical. And in this problem, we're given that 3 is a 0 of this function. Well, if 3 is a 0 of the function, it means f of 3. If I plug 3 into this expression here, I'm going to get 0. Using this along with the factor theorem, it's going to help me solve my equation. So the factor theorem states for the polynomial f of x, if f of c equals 0, then x minus c is a factor of f of x. And if x minus c is a factor of f of x, then f of c equals 0. I'm going to be using this part here. Since I know that f of 3 equals 0, then I know one of my factors. And be careful. The signs here and here are opposite. Since this was f of 3, this is going to be x minus 3 is a factor of f of x. So I need to divide this expression by x minus 3. I know I'm going to get a remainder of 0. And then the quotient is going to help me further solve my equation. I could use long division, but synthetic division is a lot easier. So let's set up my synthetic division. What number goes in the box? It's this number. So I'm going to put a 3 in the box. And in my expression, are there any missing terms? No, I have x cubed, x squared, x and a constant. So what are the numbers? The coefficient of the x cubed is 1, of the x squared is 4, of the x is negative 11, and then my constant negative 30. So bring down the 1. And then you multiply 3 times 1 and get 3. Write the answer up here. And then you add 4 and 3 and get 7. Now repeat the process. 3 times 7 is 21. Write the answer up here. Add the numbers. Negative 11 and 21 is positive 10. Lastly, we have 3 times 10 is 30. Write the answer up here. Add these two numbers, negative 30 and 30, add up to 0. So in synthetic division, this number is the remainder. The quotient is over here. And the remainder is equal to the function evaluated at this number, so we've just shown that f of 3 equals 0, so we just reaffirmed what we were given, so we know that this part is looking pretty good. And so now we can take our original polynomial, x cubed plus 4x squared minus 11x minus 30 equal to 0, and we can write it as the factor x minus 3 times the quotient. And remember, this came from a degree 3 term. This in the quotient is going to have one degree less than up here. So I'm going to have an x squared and an x term. So my quotient is x squared plus 7x plus 10. So now all I have to do is factor this trinomial here. It's a simple one because the leading coefficient of the x squared is 1, so let's do it quickly by trial and error. Multiply to an x squared, I have an x and an x. My two numbers multiply to a positive, that means the signs are the same. They add to a positive, that same sign is positive. So I need two numbers that multiply to positive 10 and add to positive 7. 
I think my two numbers are two and five. And if you want to check it, you fall this out and you'll get this expression. So now I've written my polynomial in factored form. Three factors multiplied together equals zero, set each of them equal to zero. So I have x minus three equals zero. Add three to both sides, you get x equals positive three. Next one, x plus two equals zero. Subtract two from both sides, you get x equals negative two. And setting the last factor of x plus five equal to zero. Subtract five from both sides, you get x equals negative five. So there are the three solutions to this polynomial equation.